Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out River Valley Glassworks. From All Play. The hot new game that was all the talk of Gen Con. It's been on BGA, so if you're interested in trying it, you can definitely check it out there. But The reason this was the talk of, of Gen Con is because it was the most checked out game at the BGG Hot Games Room, which, in case you're ever at Gen Con, it is diagonally northeast of the convention center in the Hyatt, second floor of the Hyatt. So come see us whenever y'all are in Gen Con next year because we'll probably be there. Yeah. Just saying. So, uh, yeah, it had like 108 checkouts, something like that. A lot, yeah. Beating the next lower one by like, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 games. So. There were several extra copies of it there, so that is definitely a reason why, but it's also a fast, pretty fast game. That's right. Today. This um, game plays one to five players and has a box playtime of 25 minutes. So, um, really easy and quick rules teach, plus really short game, uh, means lots of people checking it out, lots of people really getting to enjoy it. I will say I've played it online and in person, I have to say. I really like the in-person game better, because you get the, the really cool-looking pieces, the tactile feel. I mean, look how so, beautiful. So, there's something to be said about all of the production quality because it is a fabulous production. I'm like, look at this bag. That's ridiculous. This is just the retail. It's not like, I mean, I'm it's used even the deluxe edition. I'm used to seeing really junky looking bags in games. This is like, this is high quality. Top I notch. mean, it's not thin. Look how thick that is. This is not a thin bag. You know, the, the ones that you can, you know, you can see through and you can feel yeah things to the bag this is a sturdy cloth bag so yeah. i'm really impressed with uh, the quality of this game so i was i will say there's something to be said about playing it in person right so if you like it online definitely definitely pick it up okay. so let's get to all the rules oh first let's thank mark and ask Amelia oh. at all play for providing us this copy of river valley glassworks but they didn't give it to us in exchange for this video they gave it to us because they know we like to play all, all the games. games. And thanks to Allplay for supporting this stream with our beautiful Jasper table, which we plan to move to the new streaming room Stream area. where that All Jasper play. table is upstairs <laughs> soon. Yes. So let's go ahead and take a look while I teach you all the rules. All four pages of them. Not very many. <laughs> so uh, you are going to place all of the colored glass pieces into the bag except for the black ones unless you're playing with five players if you're playing with five you're going to need those black glass pieces um this is not a game board it is a game mat as you can see um you are going to put the six uh river tiles they look like glass they are plastic river tiles and uh you are going to draw one or two glass pieces onto each tile based on what this shows. So we've got one, 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 two, two, and two on here. You're also gonna fill the lake with five glass pieces. You're going to assemble your glass works with the solo side down. Uh, it, you'll notice that the, uh, the solo side will basically look like this. It has some sort of uh, uh, information on it as well as all of this. The competitive side the non-solo side looks like this with the turn summary on here as well as lots of different spaces in addition you're going to have um this spot which you will place this side up uh, if you're playing more than one player and this side if you are playing solo with the solo um the solo write up on the back so let me reassemble my piece here. Um, my guy is Cornelius D. Shelsworth, also known as the turtle known as Mr. Peanut. <laughs> he does look like He that. looks exactly like Mr. Peanut. I love this little guy. You're going to place your figure on the zero space right up here. Um, you don't necessarily have to keep track of how many, uh, how many uh, steps that you've gone basically this is just a counter that keeps track of how many glass pieces you have in your glassworks 
Uh, you're also going to take a pan and draw three glass pieces from the bag into it. And the player who most recently saw a river takes the first player marker. Hey, that's me. Uh, so, um, your goal is to fill your glassworks. You want to fill it with many different kinds, but you also want to fill it with a lot of the same kind. So, um, you're going to score based on how far you can make full rows, and you're going to score for your two highest filled columns. So, um, on your turn, uh, you either have to place and gather, meaning you're going to place glass from your pan into the river and then gather glass for your glassworks, or you are going to restock your pan by drawing glass from the lake. If you're gathering from the river, um, what you're going to do is you are going to place one of your pieces into the corresponding shapes space. So for this, I must put it into uh, onto the river tile that is marked with a heart. Only shapes matter. Notice here is the heart. So if I put this here, I can then choose one adjacent river tile and gather all the glass pieces from it. So I can take one of these, uh, one of this, the blue piece here or the uh, white and light green pieces here. And if I do, um, then I can place either this direction or this direction. Now, my decision is going to be influenced somewhat by the rarity of the glass. Um, notice that the whites and purples are most common. Now, I guess they're sort of pinkish purple. Blues are next most common. The greens are slightly rare. And the yellow and sparkly, sparkly orange, which I do have one of, are very rare. If you're playing with five players, the black is on par with the green tokens. So, based on uh, where I've put these, then I'm going to have to either put them this order or the other order, but I have to fill these from left to right. Now, if I had somehow managed to get a hold of two white tokens, I would have to put them one on top of the other because you are putting all of the tokens of one color into a column. Another thing you can do instead of placing the same shape, uh, if I, instead of putting this into the heart, I can place any two pieces with the same shape on any river tile. So if I really wanted to get these common ones here, then I would place on either here or here, potentially giving Steph a lot of glass. You should do that. No. <laughs> and then I would take from an adjacent river tile as normal. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the empty river tile, put it all the way at the end of the river, flow everything together, and then you are going to replace, you're going to put a piece of glass on it based on what the next river tile shows. Not your river tile that you just put, but the next tile. So I would put one piece of glass onto this spot in the river. So, let me reset everything, because that is not my move. Alternatively, um, you can draw from the lake. Choose four of these pieces, and add them to your pan, not to your glassworks. Your pan, however, can hold only five pieces. Notice uh, it's really faint on the bottom of your pan, but it says max five in the middle. I don't think um, it's very bright enough to, to show it on here, but it says max five in the middle of my pan. So if I were to do this right now, it would probably be a bad move because Overflow tiles are one quick way to lose the game. So let's say I decide to take these and to choose five pieces. Then any extra pieces are going to go in my overflow. Notice on my player board here, it says minus three per piece. Do not have your pieces go into overflow. That is a bad thing. If for some reason my whites were maxed out in one of my columns and I drew white onto uh from one of these tiles, 
then I would have to put my white pieces into overflow. I cannot start a new column with more white pieces. So, um, there are more than seven colors. There are eight or nine colors, depending on player count. If you draw your eighth color piece or ninth colored piece, to the overflow it goes. When a player reaches 17 or more on their inventory track, that is the game end trigger. As soon as this happens, if you have fewer than three pieces in your pan, you draw from the bag until you have three, so your final turn is not going to be just a waste. You're going to finish the current round of turns so that everyone has had the same number, meaning ending with Steph, because I was the first player. Then everyone is going to have one final turn each. Then score the glassworks. Most victory points wins. How do you score your glassworks? You are going to count across uh, and score that many points as long as you don't have any gaps. Notice that there are seven spots across. If I have filled up seven spots across on this first row, I'm going to get 22 points. So uh, I want to try to do that as many times as possible for 22 points each time. But if for some reason there's a gap, I'm not going to score points, like in all plays example. Notice that they're going to score 22 points for this first row. They're going to score 11 for this second row because there are five pieces. This third row has four pieces, but there's a gap in the middle. So they're only going to score two points for this row. And these don't even start with the light blue, so they don't score anything at all. Basically, it's a gap on that first column, and so you're not going to score anything for that. In addition, you're going to score for your two tallest columns. You'll notice that it's only five points here on this first column. All the way over here, if you somehow manage to get your seventh color piece up to the fifth spot here, that's a whopping 35 victory points. But you have to choose your two tallest columns. And if there's a tie, you have to choose the lowest number of points. So, for instance, you'll notice that there are five in this column for only 10 points. And there are four in both of these columns, but you must score your lowest one. So that's going to give 16 points. So only your two tallest columns. And that is basically all the rules that there are. All the rules. All the rules. Nice. <clears throat> so I should probably do something spectacular. Yep. I'm going to take this circular piece. I'm going to place it on the circular spot. Wow. And then take something I, amazing. I'm going to take something amazing, which is going to be this one over here. I'm going to put green piece here and green piece here. Both of them have the same rarity. Um, so I'm going to then slide this down like this. Hopefully I can get just enough of them so I can go across. Oh, you did it. Yep. Um, I need uh, I need one piece here and two pieces here, which you would sort of jump the gun a little bit, but that's fine. That's what I wanted. We'll fix it. You gave me good things. I gave you good things. You just could not resist. Nope. But I gave you good things, too. You did? Yep. You did. Because I know you have hearts. Um, I'm not sure I have a heart. Yeah, you got two. I saw. In the that's example. not what I mean. I saw the, in the <laughs> example. No, you did. I will place a white here, and I will take all of this tasty goodness. Wow. That goes up there. That goes up here. This goes all the way to the front. We draw two. Wow. Mm-hmm. What you doing now? Uh, I got this. This. That's not terrible. Mm. Or... That, which is not great. Not great. And we're going to play this Whoa, and take this the called? two you just pulled out. This? Yeah. And this? Yep. Dump and that one stays in the back and we get two more on it. Ta-da. Running out of stuff. Hmm. Running out of stuff. I should probably draw some. I thought you might. One, two. Three. Find the good ones. I am finding the good ones. Oh, you mean you. 
figure you'd want the green one. The what green one? That one. This one? Yeah. There's a green one up here. Yeah. Big Doesn't one. mean you're getting it. What? What? All right. So, I actually have five. I should probably mark that. Five out of 17. You. I don't want that piece. You're also at five out of 17. Five in your glasswork, yeah. Um, um take this. Okay. The answer the BGA implementation seems to have minor rules differences. I think the biggest one that I could think of was the pieces in your minus three count as a piece towards the seventeen. Oh, it should only be only pieces in your glasswork. Not in your pan or your overflow. Yeah. Um, can you refill? Not that I can or should use them, but it is a consideration. Yeah, you should take four right now. No. <laughs> I will take one. Mississippi. Whoa, what is this? Stragedy. Stragedy? Yeah. See, but I want this yellow one. Yeah, those. Yellow, so shiny. So shiny. All right. All right. What now? All the games. What? I don't know. Oh, I don't have what I want. Don't have what he wants. Mm. Hmm, I see what you're doing. Do you? Because I don't. I'm at eight. Hopefully I get another yellow. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I want to sort of force you to take certain things. What? <laughs> yeah. You can't force me. Uh, I mean, if I fill them all up with white, yes. Yeah. That does force that's you. That's true. What do you have there? You have one of those. You have one of those. Yeah, of course, you've got all of those that I don't want you to have. Whoa. place here take these you playing two of the same yes yeah, so i can place them wherever i want that seems good two please wow two please well i'm gonna i'm gonna put that one out and take the four pieces that you just dropped like it's hot. Mm hmm Maybe not the best play. I don't know yet. But we're gonna find out. No. More white, more white. I think I'm going to take those. Yeah, because you can't take the other one. 
I mean, I could. It would be minus points. Yeah. It's not the best idea. It's probably not a smart plan. But that finishes out the the row. Yeah. So I'm at 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, Yes, it is. Unfortunately, I can't get this up far enough. True. Slow down. Mm. Yeah. Just don't have good ones. I'm doomed to take these two no matter what. Doomed. Uh, you can basically place just about anywhere you want. Here, here, here. So you can take any of these. Yep. Great. Yep. Well, let's pollute something for you. Whoa. Yeah. Taking the orange, I think, is maybe the right play. Well, it goes from 11 to 16, so it's five points for the extra color. And this also a good play. That's what I was thinking you were going to do. Yeah, but I don't want to give you access to this. So it doesn't help it's me. It's not going to help you any because... Well, maybe. Oh, it is going to help It will help, help me, actually. So. It's going to make your... Yeah, I can get these. It's going to make your seven turn into 11. Yeah, so maybe you don't do that. Tricky business. And it makes my 12 turn into a 15. Not as good. <laughs> hey, Don. It's hard to do that. Definitely hard to do that. No, I can't even get this. Yeah, I can if I place here, but then I'm not corrupting yours. It's true, because I won't be taking a purple if I can avoid it. And I don't, I can't even get this, so I think I am dead no matter what I do. I think so. Yeah, bummer. Not a big spread of stuff on the river right now. No. So. Mm. 
and I can't corrupt uh, I can't corrupt the spaces that I want to corrupt. So I'm pretty much just done. Uh, yeah, that only gives me three points. I'm giving up the five over there. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I can give that to you. Yeah, well... I'll definitely be taking it then. Yeah. That's to the top. This is here, and that goes five points. Boy, that's the that's the worst I've done on this. So I got twenty five for my towers, and twenty two is forty seven, forty eight, fifty eight. 60, 70 I points. I can't, yeah, I can't count. Uh, 16, 27, 37, 42, 54. 54 to 70. Sorry, Jelvia, you lost your 10 channel points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is River Valley Glassworks. Yep, from All Play. Um, go and check it out on BGA, and then if you enjoy the implementation there, um, highly recommend picking up this, uh, really cute, uh, thinky puzzle game. Yeah, apparently the deluxe copy has actual glass pieces. Oh, nice. So that's really cool. Though, honestly, I don't think it needs it. Right. These are really nice anyway. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, I good chunky plastic. I think the game is super light. It's. It's cute and thinky. I enjoy I, my few plays that I've had so far. I think I would like it to be longer than 17. Uh, I think it ends a bit too abruptly mm -hmm. uh, to actually get anything going. So you get a little bit better with more players because the river changes a little bit more between turns. But then you're like, you don't want to play with too many people because then it might be a little chaotic because right. you can't plan for anything. And there's no planning. Yeah, so I think there's probably a sweet spot somewhere in there, like three players. But um, and I've never played at three. Yeah, so, yeah. Because uh, like you saw, it kind of got a little stale on the river because we're like, well, it's the same colors. We're not necessarily going for those colors. But you know, if you see four tokens, I'm like, well, I have yeah, to. Yeah, I take couldn't four get tokens. my sixth or seventh color at all. Yeah. Until like the very very end. Yeah. So it happens, but uh, I think it's still a pretty good game, and uh, it's worth checking out for sure. Absolutely. So. So be sure to check out River Valley Glassworks from All Play. Yeah. And if you enjoyed this teacher playthrough and you want more just like it, you can come find many more videos. Or we're up to 1,300 plus videos a lot. On, on your YouTube channel. Just search for Board Gamer Step. Even better, you can join us on twitch.tv slash boardgamerstep every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central where we stream live. We stream three games or more every single stream. So come join us on Twitch where we play all the games. And for those on Twitch, we'll be right back.